Making your way in the world today takes everything you've got. Taking a break from all your worries sure would help a lot. Wouldn't you like to get away? Sometimes you want to go where everybody knows your name. And they're always glad you came. You want to be where you can see. Our troubles are all the same. You want to be where everybody knows your name. Good evening, good evening, good evening. How's everybody doing this evening? Welcome to Cardboard Happy Hour. I'll be your card tender for tonight. The card obvious. I hope you are all doing well. Ryan in the house. The quick first. What's up, Goody G? How you doing? Jeff Nickel in the house. Stemmers in the house. What's up, Stemmers? Boomslang. What's up, Boomslang? Warcraft. Good to see you. And I think I got everybody. How's everybody doing? Michael Heat just popped in. Gruta Satra. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that is, Mike, but uh appreciate you <laughs> jumping in. How's everybody doing on this Thursday? Hopefully you are staying warm wherever you're at. Um, where I live, it didn't get too cold, but it's been raining a lot here. We were under flash flood advisories, actually, all day today, but it hasn't rained that much, so we're all good. <clears throat> Adam's Card Closet, how you doing? Good to see you. TLM, how you doing tonight? Good to see you. Catch it up on sleep. That's always good. That's always good. I don't know. Sometimes it doesn't help me. Like, uh, like sometimes you get five hours of sleep and you feel all tired. And then other times you get nine hours of sleep and you still feel tired. <laughs> but it is what it is. I don't know. I need about, I'm about a seven hour person, I guess you could say. Like seven to seven and a half is about my, my sweet spot for sleep. If I get too much than that, then I feel kind of groggy. If I get less than that, then I feel groggy. Dad's having issues. I'm sorry to hear about that, Mike. Is he home or is he in the the hospital or what? That's right, Ryan. It's easy to sleep good when it's raining. All right, so tonight's Fast Blast, we're going to do some 2020 holiday. And we're going to add in a hanger of 2021 Series 1. So that's going to be our break for tonight. We'll pull that up. There we go. Squeeze in the camera. Let's uh, center this. If I can. That's about as good as we can get. <clears throat> about to get in a fight for Lisa Chicken in this. That was a Bradley. <laughs> Y'all gonna fight over some chicken? <laughs> Is uh, Bradley, you acting like, a, what's his name from Game of Thrones, the Hound? <laughs> Keep it up, I'm going to eat every chicken in the place. He's, um, um, called eating too many biscuits and gravy. Nothing wrong with that, man. It's better to eat too much biscuits and gravy than not to have them at all. That's what I say. It's getting cray-cray. Oh, before you know it, Bradley, it's going to be like 80 degrees in Texas. And uh, it'll all be behind you. Alright, so we got Ryan getting the Braves for Jeff Nickel. 50. Hmm. 
Ryan. Goody. Chip it on the Giants. Mr. Ron Fig, how you doing? Ron jumping on them Dodgers and the Blue Jays. Ron. This weekend would be the 70s. That'd be nice. Y'all deserve, deserve a little warm-up in Texas. Um, Ron's going to go Angels. Definitely deserve a warm-up there. It was funny because, like, pretty much most of the country got hit by that cold. And it didn't really get down here too much. I mean, it was chilly. Uh, Ryan's going to go two on the Blue Jays. Warcraft's going to jump up 250 on the Yanksters. But yeah, that cold air pretty much stayed out of here. It did get chilly a few days, but not, and we didn't have no, like, winter weather, which was nice to see. <clears throat> I would like to see some snow and stuff, you know. Again, it's been a while since I've seen it, but that freezing rain can, uh, that can hang elsewhere. Mike's going to go Cubs and Marlins. And Ryan's going to snatch up the Cardinals. Ryan. All right. First time ever in history that the entire state, all counties in Texas, was under winter weather. Yeah, that's wild. Especially for, like, those southern counties in Texas. Down there by Corpus Christi, you know, south of Houston. And uh, Brownsville and all that. They get winter weather. It's That's something. <laughs> that's like Miami getting winter weather. I talked to my aunt, who still lives in Miami the other day, and they were getting ready to take uh, their granddaughter to the beach. <laughs> when y'all were having an ice storm in Texas, they were going to the beach in uh, Miami. So it was like 86 degrees. What's up, Truth? How you doing tonight? Good to see you. Thanks for stopping in. All 254 counties. All got snow, too. Galveston, south of Houston, had snow on the beach. Man, it's wild. I got that cold that far. What's up, cuz? Hobby is jumping in here. How you doing? Good to see you. Bradley's going to go Astros and Rangers. I haven't seen uh, Mr. Mansman tonight. Hope all's going well with him. Here on Tuesday night. Work has been nuts. Excited for Saturday just to sit in your chair, just to veg out, chill on a Saturday. Uh, Rays and Reds, this is for Ryan. All right, folks, we'll hold the buying there. Oh, he's hanging out on Polystream. Gotcha. It's all good. Oh, Airtime threw up a video today. It's pretty good to see the uh, Sports Illustrated for Kids. Airtime's little niche that he's in. Talking about uh, the cars that are going for a lot. All right, something to keep an eye out for if you're, like he said... Out garage sale on or anything when it warms up. The sports kids or sports illustrated for kids magazines. They had the cards still in them. All right, let's get started with some dimers. Oh, uh, where are we at on dimes?
You have a Dave Justice uh, Sports Illustrated. Uh, what's up, Adam? Uh, yeah, it's a bid. It's bid, so you can bid on a team at the minimum. If somebody's already got it, you can outbid them. If you go up by at least a quarter, you can outbid them for that team. Need trivia next time Airtime makes a video, All right. I don't know, I think Airtime's taking a good long break from trivia. I don't blame him, he did it for so long, so many weeks. And it is a lot of work to uh, set it all up and do all that stuff. Uh, this is 2021, the hangar, and the holiday is 2020, the newest holiday. All right, let's get started with the dime cards. All right, if anybody's new here, how the dime cards work, all you do is say sold in the player's name, we'll add it to your stack. All I ask is that you pay by the end of the month, which is next Thursday will be the last stream of the month, so... February balances are due by next Thursday, and that'll lock in your cards. You don't have to pay shipping at that time unless you want to go ahead and have them shipped out to you. Shipping's a flat $4. So we got Cuz going for the Orioles. Shooting for the Orioles, all right. Cuz, what are you trying to get from the Orioles? Yeah, that'll be fine, cuz. Adam's gonna go two for the Bravos. All right. Got you there. All right, dime cards. One, two, three, dime cards. All right, let's get the focus right here with this Greg Maddox. That's pretty good. Greg Maddox. All these are dimes. Kyle Hendricks. It's funny seeing Kyle Hendricks after Greg Maddox because they're kind of similar pitchers. Of course, Kyle Hendricks is doing it more in the era of power pitching. George Springer, 2018. Actually got two George Springers, 2018s. That is the 89, yes, because that is the actual 89 tops. Man's been in the hizzy. What's up, Joe? We got a Mark Teixeira diamond collection from 04. We got Andy Pettit from 06. Yeah. Todd Hilton from 2003, 2001. We got Jimmy Rollins, 2015. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Tops likes to do uh, reprint fake fake outs on the on the normal. It's all right when they put a stamp on it or something, then it really makes it stand out, but sometimes they just do straight-up reprints. All right, Joe's going to go Della 50 on the Mets. Thank you, Joe. We got a Jose Leclerc. Michael Fulmer, rookie. We got a Johnny Damon Thunder from Skybox, I think. Out of Circa. Well, Skybox, yeah. It's all Fleer. Johnny Damon Thunder. We got an 81 Donruss 
Davy Loops showing off that great stash. See this guy back here, he's like looking down. Like if you see a modern picture of that, you you know they're looking at their phone, but since this is old school, he's probably like sleeping or staring at his nachos. Trying to figure out how to eat the Dodger Dog. Uh we got a Bill Madlock, eighty one Donruss. Bill Buckner, eighty one Donruss. <laughs> Guy says he's asleep. Yeah, Sandy Alomar feature stars from eighty nine. Kevin Gossman features now inserts. Jose Ramirez Optic. Danny Duffy Prism. Wilson Contreras twenty nineteen. JD Martinez, twenty eighteen. He's on the D backs. Tino Martinez, rated rookie, even though this is not considered a rookie card. Because made a snowman today. Awesome. David Bodie, Heritage. Willie Randolph, 81 Donruss. 90 Tops, Craig Biggio. 89 Tops, um, Ricky Anderson. Did you name it all off? <laughs> Four foot tall. Was it a clean snowman? Didn't have no leaves or dirt or anything like that in it? Because, like, around here when it snows, like, once every five years, <laughs> actually snowed more often, you know, 20 years ago here than it does now. Um, but, like, we don't ever get enough snow to get, like, a clean snowman. It's always got, like, people's trash from their yards, like, embedded into the snowman. They look more like uh, Sasquatches because all the pine needles. <laughs> What's up, Wax, man? How you doing, John? Good to see you. On the porch, <laughs> the fan and shorts and the t-shirt. Yep, good old Florida winter weather. You gotta love it. <laughs> At least I'm too lazy to wreck. I told you, I, it wasn't clean. <laughs> He's one of those Sasquatch snowmen. What's up, Sticks G? How you doing? Good to see you. Thanks for stopping in. So make a homeless snowman. <laughs> All right, we got Larry Walker leaf signature. Got a couple of those. Eighty-three in Daytona. Yep, it's the good old Florida weather. They're on eighty-four today. It's, it's nice in Central Florida. Eighty-four. The Ron Gant Stadium Club. We got Richard Urania rookie card, twenty eighteen. We got A. Eugenio Suarez Prism. Wax Man says wax on. We got Albert Amora, uh, rookie debut. Going to buy the Cardinals for Ryan. Sure says, all right. We'll get done with the stack. We'll go through and look. We got uh, Yankee winners with who is that? Gidry and Tommy John. Yep, Gidry and Tommy John. Pulled a Herbert. Nice. Here's another one of those. We got a 83 victory leaders from 82. Lamar Hoyt, Hoyt and Steve Carlton. And an 83 all stars Pete Rose. Eighty three super veteran Jim Palmer. Carlton sold to Giddy. Wax band, cuckoo, cachoo. What was the other one you want? The rose, okay. You in pain, Joe? Is it back issues or you got something else going on, Joe? What's up, hobby searcher? Thanks for stopping in. How you doing? Click football. 
So he's excited. Yeah, I mean, a Herbert, it's like the best thing you could pull from football this past year. We got Joe Morgan, super veteran. Back in a pain that shoots to your hip. Man, that sounds like a sciatic nerve thing, isn't it? John Means, Turkey Red. Another hobby goes, right? We got Decades Best Baltimore Orioles team card. The big old boo pal there in the forefront. Uh, Morgan to Adam. Took me around eight pills a day to get somewhat comfortable. Oof. The three hobbies. Uh, we got some Trevor Hoffman, 93 upper decks here. And his Marlin Genie. So we got three of those. Trevor Hoffman. I don't think this is considered a rookie. I don't think it is. I think his rookie is 91 or 92. But pretty early Hoffman. Mean sold to Mike. Yeah, two of those Hoffmans. We got 93 upper deck. Jim Abbott. What number is the Hoffman? Um, 773. 773. Hoffman's the upper deck rookie, but not the true rookie. <laughs> Whatever you call it. Here's a Ron Guidry from American Pie. Tops. Fleet Boyer, American Pie. Gidry sold to Goody. Hoffman to Cuz. What number is the Abbott? 554. Five, 554. Five, we got a Fleer Tradition Miguel Teada from 06, I think. Yeah. And then we got SP Authentics. Uh, this is from 2002. On the 89 design, John Olerud. Abbott, cuz. You building the set, cuz? I mean, how many rookies did Jeter have before he had first rookie? Yeah, I know, exact. The, the rookie cards were dumb in the 90s. Scott Rowland. 06 tradition. And close on 93 upper deck. Nice. And another Jim Abbott. Close out this stack of dimers. I'm glad the Players Association, like, you know, are like, all right, you can only have rookie cards once you've played in a major league game. <laughs> like, you can't have a rookie card before that. Which would have pretty much got rid of uh, Chipper Jones rookies, Jeter's rookies, Rivera's rookie. <laughs> Roland sold to Cards fan, but Joe says he's going to pick that up for you, Ryan. Jeter had rookies every yeah. <laughs> Seventy seven point nine on ninety three upper decks. So if any of y'all got some upper decks hit up cuz the obvious. He's looking to complete that set.
All right, let's do another stack of dimers. Most of those are our number. Yeah, it's hard for me to help out like set collectors because like I donate all my commons. You know, just like base commons, I donate most of them. Pretty much 90% of all all the cards go in my donation box. And I just give them away. I don't feel like dealing with them. <laughs> Alright, more dimers. We got 87 Robin Yunt. Two of those. Kevin Kiermeyer, Gypsy Queen. Yeah, I'll show the number on this because I know Cuz. I think he's building the Gypsy Queen set. This is uh 27, as far as my old eyes can tell. Aaron Nola. This one is 20. We got Jake Arietta, 2020. Yunt sold to Adam. So many 87 tops. Well, it's easy to end up with a lot of 87 tops. <laughs> They weren't exactly scarcely produced. <laughs> 2020 GQ? I don't know what year is that. 2019. I don't know what I'm about to do with a box of doubles. Hello, Goodwill. Yeah, that works too. You can take them Goodwill. We got a 96 Fleer Ultra. Tino Martinez. We got Taiwan Walker, Futures Now. Got two of those with that picture on it. And we got two of them with this picture on it. Inserts. We got Joey Gallo, 2019 Heritage. Brett Gardner, 2019 Heritage. Big League Leaders with Merrifield, Malik Smith, and Jose Ramirez. I had the 87 top set almost three times, plus a couple hundred more. <laughs> Here's an 87 Donruss, Reggie Jackson. Really good shape, 87 Donruss there. Very, very minor chipping on this one. It's probably a little white on that corner, but usually you see these black borders are all beat up. We got uh, Jackie Bradley Jr., opening day, 2018. Reggie going to Adam. We got a Colin Cowgill rookie from 2012. Yeah, 2012. We got a 1980 tops John Montague. There's who I need to talk to on getting the few cards I need. Yeah, there you go, Mike. <laughs> talk to Cuz. Here's a Upper Deck Legends Roger Maris. Twenty eighteen opening day Josh Donaldson. May fourth is when the season starts for the Tortugas. Yeah, I think that's when Low A starting is in May. Austin Meadows twenty nineteen. Angelton Simmons twenty nineteen Gypsy Queen. Card number two oh seven. Got a Carl Everett. First draft pick. 91 tops. Meadows sold to Jeff Airtime. What's up, Jeff? You've got the bonds. That's the only 87 card you got, Mike. <laughs> and you need a lot of them if you're going to build that set. Jeff, did you answer my question on the uh, on the comments on your video about the year and a uh, card number of that Nadal? We got a Brad Osmus. Uh... What year is this? 95? 94? Upper Deck Brad Osmus? That might be a rookie. We 
We got a Saber Stars, Juan Uribe. Kyle Schwaba, 2020. What's 94, cuz? You answering a question for somebody else? We got a Topps Prospects card with uh, Jason Giambi on it. David Bell is also on this one. All right, Bradley. Enjoy your meal. We got a Rondell White rookie prospect. Rondell White. Oh, it was 94. Gotcha. Shipping eBay orders. Nice. Mark Grace, 1991. The reason I'm asking about that Nadal card, like what year and uh, card number it is, because I think I saw one at a uh, secondhand store here in Augusta, but I wasn't sure if it was the exact same card. But I think the one they had was like, I think it was 2005. I think it was a 2005 Nadal they had there. Wade Boggs, 90 upper deck. And I don't know how many Nadal cards there are in uh, uh, Sports Illustrated, so. Jose Abreu, and it was only like 10 bucks. <laughs> so if you're saying I could resell that card for 100 bucks, I'm going to go back and see if they have it. <laughs> Probably not, though. It's been a little bit. All right, we got a Mitch Hanniger, Gypsy Queen. This one is card 143, the 2019 set. What's up, Tim? How you doing? We got Jay Bruce, 2020. Charlie Blackman, 2018. The one... Okay, that one with the white border is a second card. Ten sounds about right. Okay, I was just wondering, because I think it said... I think there was a sticker on it that said 2005. I didn't know, like... I don't know nothing about Sports Illustrated cards, so... <laughs> That's all I remember, was seeing that. Adam Jones, 2015. We got... Craig Kimbrell. Med Rosario, Max Kepler, another Jay Garrido, Johnny Cueto from two thousand and nine, two thousand nine Johnny Cueto, Billy Hamilton, Futures Now, Rookies O One. Chuck Finley, a.k.a. I married Tony Katain, and she kicked my butt. But this is a rookie. Rookie 87, Chuck Finley. It's another Boggs dupe. We got a uh, Angels team card with Tim Salmon from Upper Deck. What year is that? 93 Upper Deck. Card number 812, because... Still have 92 Donruss Kevin Mitchell on the Mariners with no number on the back. No idea what it is. Oh, really? We got Dimitri Young, top prospects. Cardinals. Sold Salmon to Goody. We got Triple Bay, Kent Herbeck. Boo this man. Boo. Kent Herbeck. <laughs> Steve Finley. Sorry, I'm still a salty Braves fan from 91. Uh, Steve Finley, Triple Play. 
We got Jay Buner, triple play. Jeff's going to go Phillies and Royals. Phillies and Royals. Airtime. I think on the last break, you got a bunch of Royals. Royals did real well in that break. As far as number of cards. This is a cool card. I like this card. Uh, this is from Upper Deck as well. 93, card 478. It's the, uh... It's Bichette and Galarraga. And some dude in the middle. Who's that? David Need? Yeah, it is David Need. With the mountain in the background. is pretty cool. All right, now there are these 2002 SP Authentics. I think it's SP Authentic. I made these. The 89 design, Moises Alou. Lance Berkman. Carrie Wood. Another Carrie Wood. We got a Power Up, Jose Posada. It's like a Big Ed card. Got a code here. I guess it was used for a game back in the day. Power up. Made by Upper Deck. Very bright green. And the last dime card is a 2006 Johnny Damon. 2006 Johnny Damon. Carry wood times two, dold to airtime. Joe's going to get some cafe. <laughs> it's like clockwork, I know, right? I wonder if Mansman times his coffees based on which stack I'm currently doing in the cheapo cards. <laughs> like, up oh, dimes is over. Time to get some coffee. <laughs> All right. Let's do some CODIS. Sticks is going to go dollar fifty on the Tigers. All right. Sticks G. Thank you, sir. It <laughs> just happens that way. <laughs> All right, folks. Same process as before, but all these will be a quarter. Got an idea for a series? Please share. All right, we got an Astros rookie stars with Framber, James, and Dietz. 6G in the weekly top 40. We got Salvi Perez, Silver Slugger Award. Uh, break in the column are 2020 Holiday, Waxman, and a hanger of 2021 top series one.
We got a 2017 batting leaders card from Heritage with Blackman, Murphy, and Turner. A lot of beardage on that card. We got a Bowman Chrome, Scott Chison for the Cubs. We got a J.D. Martinez Stadium Club. Wax. Gonna bid on the Padres and Twins. These are bids, John, so you can always be outbid for a team. But for right now, you got them. For $1.50 apiece. And the White Sox. Surprise, the White Sox with this long chance at a Lubob in the uh, Holiday Bucks. Thank you, John. All right. We got Don Larson. Classics. Joey Votto. Diamond King insert. New Age Performers. A. Eugenio Suarez. We got Franchise Feats. Evan Longoria with the Rays. B.J. Upton. Tax Code Card. We got Paul Canerco, tax code card. Hell sucks, but weather's great. Sorry to hear about your health, John. Adam Jones, code card. Adam's going to go for the Mariners. We got Dallas Keuchel, record setters. Uh, we got Airtime's gonna go dollar fifty on the Red Sox. For Bradley. And then we got Braves 250 for Ryan for Jeff Nickel. Yeah, Ryan. Done. Tim's going to go check on his food. Keep an eye on that food. Never waste good food. We got Brian Dozier, Diamond Kings from Optic. JD Martinez, 2018 Optic. Jerks and Profar, Diamond Kings. Dakota Hudson, Rated Ricky from Donruss. We got a Francisco Mejia, Bowman's Best Ricky. All right, John. Have a good night, sir. We got Jordan Yamamoto, rated Ricky Donruss. Scott Kingery, Orange. He has sold to Mike. Adam's going to shoot for the A's. Have big zits. <laughs> that sounds gross, Ryan. Suppose you meant ziti, because big ziti is delicious. Big zits don't sound too good. <laughs> uh, Mike's gonna go the nasty nets and the engines.
All right, we got Scott Kingery blue. We got Chris Bryant perspectives insert. We got Scouts Choice MVP Pat Burrow. Pat Burrow. We got Brad Peacock. Gold Futures. Bryant sold to Mike. The SS. SSSPs in Series 1 are cool. Some of them have pictures with their dads on them. Cool. Dakota Hudson sold. There was Dakota. There it is. Ryan. We got Gold Futures, Jesus Montero. Remember when everybody thought he was like the next huge thing for a catcher? We got a Colton Welker Bowman Platinum Ice Parallel. We got Yaziel Puig, Man Bear Puig, Turkey Red. Reese Hoskins, 2019 opening day. Nolan Arenado, 2019 opening day. We got Upper Deck Predictor, Move On. This card's got a very meager finish. You can see my head back there. And from the same set, Jay Buhner. I'm serial. I saw a man bear puig. <laughs> Uh, Jose Altuve, Team Franklin. Say it, say it. Team Ramrod. Uh, TLM. Man, I hope you feel better, man. Get some rest. Have a good night. We got Iced Out with JD Martinez and Mookie Betts. Watching on TV, typing on phone, it works well. Yeah. We got Manny Ramirez, Arenado sold to Ryan. We got a Bowman's Best Tory Hunter. Shiny. See the list better? Yeah, sorry for the small font, but I I got to fit all the teams on there. <laughs> it's worse when I put up the football teams because there's two extra teams. Uh, we got Rookie of the Year uh, from Ultra. Eric Karos. We got a Leaf Metal Platinum. Todd Stoudemire. Hunter sold to Adam. Your phone shows blurry. Is this more clear on your TV? <laughs> as far as like the cards are concerned. And then the last quarter card is Matt Davidson. Matt Davidson. Bowman 100 insert. I think he came up in the Braves organization and got traded to the D-backs. Alright. Let's jump over and do some fitties.
Alright, some fitties. Uh, did I have a great day today, Ryan? Yes, I had an okay day. I wouldn't call it great by any means, but it was okay. It was manageable. It wasn't terrible. It was aight. Uh, no, it's the 28th, Mike. It's the 28th. <laughs> Which is why it's important for everybody to pay their balances by the uh, by next Thursday. So I have some scratch <laughs> to spend at the card show. All right. I'll take the... Are you trying to say the rest? Joe, take the rest unclaimed. All right. You in. Thank you, Joe. Joe's gonna pick up. The Brewers. The D backs. The Mets. So oh, you already got the Mets. Pirates. And the Rockies. Done. <laughs> backspace button don't work. It's all good. <laughs> we need to get you a new backspace button. <laughs> you got the weekends off, Mike? All weekends? Alright, here's a 93 draft pick card for Derek Lee. Here's the back of it. This is from 94 score. Uh, Derek, whose father, Leon, and his uncle, Laron, played in the major leagues. I didn't know he was a legacy player. I didn't know his dad, Leon Lee, and Laron Lee. So if you ever pull any of their cards, they're related to Derek Lee, I would imagine. We got Xander Bogarts. Future is now insert. I got a few of these. If you ever watch Nico Rips. And here his son Parker say Xander Bogarts. It is freaking hilarious. Just the way he says his last name. Bogarts. <laughs> Xander Bogarts. He says it so fast it's hilarious. But yeah, Corey Seager, Rookie of the Year Award. We got a Flair. Um, what is this? This is Junior Spivey. I don't know if this is a purple parallel or what, but it's numbered at a 150. Junior Spivey at a 150. 84 at a 150. Junior Spivey. Booger. Yeah, and Garlicle Smanders. He's, I've only heard him say Garlicle Smanders once, but that was all it took. It was all, all it took <laughs> for me to remember that. There's three names I always remember Parker saying. It was Xander Bogertz, Garlicle Smanders, and Squad on Barkley. <laughs> Uh, Dale Earnhardt, yes, I saw, uh, Danny and Gray up uploaded a video of that, um, documentary or whatever when they were talking about when he passed away. I, the one thing I remember about that race, I'm not the biggest NASCAR fan, but I live in NASCAR country, so, I think I was at a bar when that race was going on, and, uh... The one thing I remember was that the TV was turned up really loud. And, like, you hear the NASCAR race. But there was another TV on that was showing, I think, a basketball game. College basketball game. That was also loud. <laughs> it was, like, really, like, I don't know, kind of distorting in the bar. Hearing, like, these two TVs, like, over each other. But I remember, you know, Daryl Walter being all excited. Because didn't his, his brother win that race, right? Didn't Daryl Waltrip's, uh, like, little brother win that race? And he was, like, so happy, but it was, like... Right at the exact moment Dale Earnhardt passed away. It's kind of wild. All right, we got Derek Lee Classic. Another minor league card of Derek Lee. We got a uh, Fleer Premium International Pride. 
Bobby Abreu. Insert. We got a Manny Machado. Jackie Robinson Day. Salute. We got a Miguel Sano. Team Franklin. This guy is very, very underrated. He doesn't get enough hobby love. This guy mashes. I know he strikes out a lot, but he can mash. He's the future Nelly Cruz. Shout out to Bradley Moore. We got a Gold Stars, Marquise Grissom. We got Bryce Harper, Mother's Day, with the pink bat and the sleeves. Can he mash potatoes? I'm sure he can. Anyone mash potatoes? We got a Royce Clayton. Uh, Leaf Metal Platinum Parallel. You're going to the... You went to the 2001 race, Ryan? Is that what you're saying? We got a Andy Van Slyke Top Glove from Ultra. Inserts. We got Raphael Palmero, Leaf Limited. How old were you in 2001, Ryan? Not that race. I'm just wondering. I mean, y'all already know my age. I was at a bar <laughs> in 2001. We we got Don Mattingly, Stadium Club from '94. Why do they make instant mashed potatoes then? Because we're lazy. We want fast potatoes. Instead of, you know, cutting up potatoes, peeling potatoes and cutting them up and boiling them, making sure they're done, and then mashing them. You know, just instant mashed potatoes, you're just pretty much adding hot water and seasoning. You were 11? That was fun. Don Mattingly, 94 Fleer. Just call me Gilson. <laughs> Joe Bassman <Bansman> says. <laughs> Don't forget butter. Sour cream. Sour cream will make your mashed potatoes all the more creamier. Butter for flavor. We got uh, another Don Mattingly. 94 Don Russ. No Mattingly fans in here tonight. We got a Trot Nixon. Draft pick card. Chives. Real mashed is so much better. Oh yeah. Breaks my heart that there's actually real restaurants that use instant stuff. Yeah, that's that's weak. Joe says can't eat potatoes anymore. We got a Charles Johnson. What's up with this penny sleeve? Change out this penny sleeve. Oh, this penny sleeve's ripped anyways. I'll put that in a new penny sleeve. Put some cheese, make some smash potatoes with the skin. I'm cool with that. Charles Johnson, rock solid. I think it looks a lot more shiny now because I put it in a new penny sleeve. Too many carbs, I got you, Joe. Yeah, carbs are the devil. But they're so delicious. We got a Donruss Classics from... I don't know what year this is. It's hard to read. Donruss Classics from mid-2000s, I can imagine. Stars of Summer, Tony Oliva. This one's numbered out of a thousand. 138 out of a thousand. Cream cheese and mashed potatoes called them company mashed potatoes. I don't know why. They're the bomb. Yeah, cream cheese and mashed potatoes sounds good. Stop talking about food. <laughs> We're talking mashed potatoes. If I ever come up with my own mashed potato dish, I'm going to name it Miguel Sano, thanks to Joe Mansman. So now every time I think of Miguel Sano, I'm going to think of mashed potatoes. Thanks, Joe. 
<laughs> Who got the Oliva? <laughs> uh, Joe. Okay, I got you. Mike says, eat way too many potatoes. Cream cheese and mash, yep. All right, we got a Chris Roberson for the Phillies. This card's numbered out of 599. 350 out of 599. I guess that's a green parallel, Chris Roberson for the Phillies. <laughs> it's not pink. Pink. All right, we got a limited rookies, Jason Kendall. Leaf limited rookies. We got a David Price tax code card from 2010. We got Robbie Cano perspectives. From my perspective, he likes the juice. Just sad because the dude was a great hitter. The aforementioned Nelly Cruz. Diamond Kings. We got an 87 Roger Clemens. Little OC. With a print mark on it. I've seen so many Roger Clemens with this little pink dot print mark down here. I think they're pretty common. We got a Ozzie Guillen rookie card from 86. Ozzie Guillen. There's the back. We got a Nolan Arenado DK205 insert. Joe. Well, you sent me that list, Joe. I'll look for those when I go to that card show in a couple weeks. Lewis Brinson. Oh, a week and a half, I guess you could say. Lewis Brinson, Ricky Card, 2017. We got a Roger Clemens from 94 Stadium Club. Oh, you found the other four, Joe? You just need the Ichiro? Okay. Well, then I'll update that list. Uh, Fleer Ultra, Mike Piazza. He is laying on top of a cub. There's the back. Multiple pictures. Alright, we got sold two Clemens and Arenado. So, that... The 87 and the Arenado going to Ryan. Piazza to Joe. Go down the top four cards on the left side. All right. One second, Bradley. Jeff Nickel, uh, I think Ryan beat you to the Clemens that you wanted. All right, so we had Cano, Mattingly, 94 Fleer, uh, and Andy Van Slyke, and then the Royce Clayton Platinum from Leaf Metal. We got a 2007 update. 2017 update Rainbow Foil Franklin Gutierrez We got a Topps Inception Rookie card of Adolis Garcia Inception Rookie No problem Mr. Moore And then the last fitty we got is a Andy Van Slyke Finest from 94 
95 finest, excuse me, 95 finest. Andy Van Slyke still with protective cover that I peel off when it's a PC card. <laughs> uh, Inception to Jeff Nickel. All right. And Inception cards are thicky. Jeff Nickel. It's a fitty. Ryan's going to take the... Uh, the Cardinals. Oh, I think he meant the Garcia. Yeah, that's sold. Because that was the Inception. Yeah, it's a thicky. For sure. All right. Let's do Dollar to Holla, and then we'll get into the break, folks. Should be good right there. Bradley wants me to enhance. Okay. Enhance. Hold on. I gotta get some cards up before we enhance. All right. We'll throw up a Loriano framed Diamond Kings. Of course, the focus don't want to turn on. Turn off. Autofocus. Autofocus. Focus! <laughs> Loriano framed rookie card. Computing time of arrival in 10 minutes and counting. And then we got a. Yoan Mankata, the rookies from Donruss. What Arenado? <laughs> There's no Arenado there, Ryan. That's uh, Mankata and Loriano. Sorry if you heard Arenado. Sunday going to be good. Got BBGB. And Elimination Chamber pay-per-view. Nice. Maybe you give me one of those light boxes that will actually like focus on these cards. I believe Mize will blow his money in the bank thing. What money in the bank thing? I'm not following Mike. <laughs> oh, Miz. Okay. Talking wrestling. Alright, nobody for Loriano. Take Loriano down. We'll put up the uh, infamous J Clam. Magenta back, off pank, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> you gotta use the last name, cuz. Just the last name. <laughs> there you go. That should work if Nightbot's feeling up to it.
Now I'm going to have to add a snow mashes potatoes emote for a uh, night bot. <laughs> Thanks to the night. I just puts <laughs> exclamation point and clam. We'll take down the Mankata. We'll put up a uh, Isashi Iwakuma gold foil from Stadium Club. Iwakuma gold. <laughs> paint clam. All right, we'll take down the off pink J clam, and we'll put up a Reese Hoskins Future Stars Ricky. That's guess okay. <laughs> uh, Ryan's gonna go dollar seventy five on the Rockies. You know, Ryan, I've been wondering why you've been wanting the Rockies lately, but now that you've been buying Arenados, I know why. Truce going to go two on the Rays. Ryan's going to up it to 250. I'm going to leave these up for a few more seconds. Hoskins to airtime via Joe. All right. Hoskins via Joe. Thank you, Joe. All right. We'll put up a Joe Carter Gold Stars. I like focusing in Dollar Hollow for some reason. We'll take down the Iwakuma gold. Put up a Brett Gardner gold. From Stadium Club, Mr. Brett Gardner. Gold foil. Does airtime collect Schmidt? I am not sure. What's the Steakhouse King? Is that like a burger? Or is that like a restaurant called Steakhouse King? <laughs> I don't even know half this stuff Airtime collects. I know he collects 83 designs. I know he collects Rio Muto, Correa... I think he was collecting Cattell Marte for a while there. Oh, it's Burger King's Doom Burger. Man, I ain't bur I ate. Got a little tongue tied there. I haven't eaten Burger King in. Shoo. Probably about seven, eight months. Eating <laughs> the restaurant tomorrow. He collects Danica Patrick for sure. He collects Sports Illustrated for kids' cards for sure. <laughs> Mike, stop talking about food. Uh, it's cyclical here, man. We always end up on the food. All right, we'll take down Gardner and Carter. We got a 2020 rated rookie, Donnie Walton. This is the silver hollow. Then we got a 20... Classics, Ricky Miguel Andor. <laughs> Mike says, <laughs> "Put the herd on putting the herd in the hospital. They're used to it in the hospital, though, man. 
Goody says, I haven't had fast food in 11 years. That's awesome, Goody. You didn't miss anything. I'm going to tell you that much. You ain't missing nothing. <laughs> Stay away from Burger King, Mickey D's, because I enjoy not being in the bathroom all day. Eh, they don't have that effect on me. I mean, Burger King and Mickey D's has really had that effect on me. You missed the naked chicken chalupa? <laughs> the naked chicken chalupa? I don't remember that one. <laughs> oh, the worst that hits me is Mexican food. Oh, I love Mexican food. Love it. The taco was made out of the chicken. Okay, I kind of remember now. <laughs> All right, nobody for the Donnie Walton, Ricky Silver, or Miguel Andujar rookie. All right. Nice and a spicy. All right, we got a all certified team from 2002. Shiny mirror finish. You can see my face. You could do your hair by this card. Todd Hilton. Fish sandwich. Mickey D's. I haven't had a fish sandwich there. We got another Donnie Walton. This is a blue hollow from Don Russ. The retro style Donnie Walton. Not Donnie Wahlberg. <laughs> I do not know, Giddy. <laughs> but that's funny. Because <laughs> uh, we're watching Ferris Bueller's Day Off. <laughs> I did not hear that side note about the uh, Halloween buns. <laughs> I knew I wasn't going to eat them because I, I had no interest in eating a black bun. You know, it just didn't look right to me. <laughs> That's the card obvious image variation. Yeah, Joe. <laughs> My wife refuses to go to Taco Bell since they took away the Mexican pizza. I know a lot of people like that. I don't really care, care for it. True says it's true. <laughs> so did Cuz. <laughs> Uh, I learned something new today. I was stupid yesterday. Heated up a French bread pizza. Scolded the roof of my mouth. Last time I scolded my mouth was my tongue lost all feelings. Yeah, I've done that before. I'm sure we've all burned our our mouth before. Um, I think the worst I ever burnt my mouth on was a uh, a fried mushroom appetizer. It was nice and cool on the outside. But the inside was hot magma. <laughs> Screen like St. Patty's Day. Oh, goodness. Purple. <laughs> I never knew that a bun could have that effect on people. Was that like a, was that like a trending Twitter thing when that was... <laughs> Hashtag poop colors. <laughs> Uh yeah, those mushrooms you gotta be careful. Make sure to make sure to test the inside <laughs> before you just pop one in your mouth and bite down. Another reason to stay away, yeah. Alright, it says pass pass on these two. Alright. We got a blue balls Gonzalez. Adrian Gonzalez, blue baseballs prism. And we got a yellow Mookie Betts. Yellow Mookie Betts Donruss. I wonder if uh, Dollar Tree is going to be carrying Donruss packs. I can't ever find any cards at Dollar Tree. Yeah, Hot Pockets are definitely one you got to be careful with. So it was the chemicals they put in that bun. Yeah, but I thought they only used like charcoal to turn them black. Fruity Pebbles. I love Fruity Pebbles. Beets. P turns purple and always scares me because I forgot about the beets. Yeah, the beets. I like pickled beets. I don't care for regular beets too much. They're okay, but not a big fan. 
Drink some purple Gatorade or Powered. It comes out purple. Really? Oh, they use squid ink? Okay. There's actually a Russian dish. I think it's Russian. Or like Bulgarian or something like that. Where they cook the, the squid in, in its own ink. And it doesn't look very appetizing. But I've had squid before. Squid, you know, calamari cooked property is pretty good. Used to get cards at the Dollar Tree a penny a pack. Man, love that. Nobody for a yellow Mookie Betts or a Blue Balls Aegon. I've cooked an octopus in its own ink before. Very good. I don't know. It just doesn't look very appetizing to me. I've had octopus. Octopus isn't bad. Last time I had octopus was actually, yeah, it was pretty good. Last time I had it. All right. Yeah, rubber. If you yeah, if octopus cooked wrong, it's like chewing on a piece of rubber for sure. All right, we got a Jorge Soler Ricky studio. And we got a Diamond King's Mickey Mantle. Diamond King's Mickey Mantle. Had squid ink pasta. Okay. Never green purple. I thought it was interesting they used squid ink. Tim made calamari a couple weeks ago. Yeah. Some good calamari is good. I agree. Here we are. Back on food again. Sorry, Ryan. <laughs> it always comes back to the food. All right, we'll take down the Solaire. We'll put up a DJ LeMayhew Prism Refractor from Chrome last year. We'll take down the Diamond King's Mickey Mantle. We'll put up a Greats of the Game, Mel Ott. was told that the squid ink bun from BK was thanks to its popularity in Japan. Okay. Not surprising in Japan. They love their seafood over there. I worked at a place. We made all the pasta in-house. We had a squeeze bottle of squid ink to make it black. Oh, that's cool. Mike's going to build a new desk. Sweet. <laughs> you get to enjoy the food and poop talk. <laughs> Well, I mean, the whole green poop thing just, that caught me out of the blue. I wasn't, <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. And I didn't even know that was a thing, but now I found out it's, it's true. <laughs> Make sure you build in secret compartments. Yeah, that's great. Hide your cards. <laughs> Jeff Nichols is TMI. All right, nobody for LeMayhew or Otts. Ready? Here's a Anthony Rizzo Prism Refractor from last year. And a 94 Upper Deck. Juan Gon Berry Bonds with the silver signatures on them. Juan Gon and Bonds. 
Kind of weird perspective there. That card looks tiny compared to this one. Bond sold. Jeff. All right. We have a 1995 Flare. Mark McGuire with the goofy mullet, the McMullet, McGuire McMullet. Flare 95. Disc I'm using was my mom's old makeup desk. Hey, whatever works. Big Mac sold to Warcraft. Thank you, Warcraft. All right, the last dollar card is a 1994. Action packed. Used to see in these with football cards, but this is a baseball action packed. Derek Lee, minor league card. He's on the Rancho Cucamonga Quakes, I believe. It says Quakes on the back. Isn't that Rancho Cucamonga? Yeah, Rancho Cucamonga. Come on, Ryan. I know you like the Cubs. It was very expensive, but went a long ways. Froze it in small amounts, yeah. You don't get a whole lot of ink out of a squid. <laughs> Rizzoli sold. You want the, the Rizzo? Rizzoli. It's a Mike. Wasn't that like the name of a TV show, Rizzoli? Or one of the characters on the TV show? No cubs. No cubs. It's okay, Ryan. I'm a I'm a fan of all teams. I, you know, there's certain baseball teams I disliked, but it's weird. Like I don't have the dislike of baseball teams like I do like football teams. Like football teams, I really dislike the Patriots. But then, like I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I don't have a full on hatred for certain teams. Rizzoli Heights? I don't know. Is that what it's called? Alright, last call on the Derek Lee Minor League card. And then we'll get into the breakage. Alright. All right, all right, all right. All right, timer. All right, this is last call for bids on the break. It says, I collect star players, most of the teams, but I have a strong dislike for the other four at least teams. Understandable. All right, we got White Sox for two for Joe. All right, Joe's going to take the White Sox for two. Done. All right, we're going to start the timer for 45 seconds. Any bids come in, we'll reset the clock. If the clock runs out, then the... Bidding is locked, and the break is locked in. So, start. Rizzoli and Isles, that's it. That's it, that's the name I heard. Rizzoli and Isles, yeah, that's, that's the show I'm talking about. All right, a few more seconds left. 
All right, timer's up. Ran from 2010 to, oh, really? That was a long time. All right, break is locked in. The one that show, one on that show was Jason Seahorn's wife, I really. Sounds like a cooking show does. Or like a uh, cooking store. All right. Let's do the hanger box first, and then we'll get into the uh, holiday TV show called The Highwayman. I do not remember TV show called The Highwayman. Watched a few episodes of that show for Angie Harmon, but couldn't get into it. It was during the 80s. Alright, good luck, folks. What do we got in there? Doesn't look like anything super special. Don't see any thickies. We'll find out. Maybe we'll get a short print. That'd be nice. It was about two semi trucks. Was it a spin off of Maximum Overdrive? <laughs> Do you still have the Orioles, cuz? Um, yes, you ended up with the Orioles. All right, let's get the focus right here. All right, we got Luis Castillo. We got Rizzoli. We got Pedro Severino. Max Freed. We got a rookie of Edward Oliveris. We got... Jose Abreu, you got Lurie Garcia, Alberto Mondesi in a mask, Flipperu, we got Albert Abreu, rookie, Nomar Mazzara, we got Austin Hayes, um, Robbie Ray, there's a White Sox team card with Eloy and Robert. About said Robert. Nico Goodrum. Maybe could pull out Mount Castle. Maybe. Ozuna. Hunter Harvey. We got Anthony Santana. There's plenty of Orioles in this pack. Uh, Danny Mendick. We got a Luis Patino. Patino. Where's it Patino? I think it's Enye. Brandon Drury. Uh, Mauricio Dubon. So we got a rainbow foil in here. Patel Marte. You got in that pack already. Uh, Baez. Um, John Segura. Flipperini. We got... Who's that? Colton Wong. Danny Santana. Miguel Andujar. Nelly Cruz. Shout out to Bradley Moore. Then we got... Ooh, it's a chrome 52. Very nice. Chrome 52. It's a red. Is that Vado? It is Vado. Pretty cool. Chrome 52 Vado. Our rainbow is upside down as well, I think. No, it's, it's a landscape. Who is that? Justice Sheffield. Justice Sheffield. Rainbow. Then we got a Tatis Jr. 52. Christian Yelich, 52. Devers, 52. Alonzo, 52. A lot of 52s in these hanger packs. Our first Royal Blue. Oh, no, we got an 86 Yankees. Labor Day. 
And then we got our first royal blue is a A. Who that? Marcus Simeon. And our second royal blue is Tiger Pitcher. Matthew Boyd. Matthew Boyd. And then we got one of those fake out cards. First Bowman Steven Strasburg. And back to the base. We got Kepler, Luke Voigt, Johnny Cueto, Clayton, Max Muncy, uh, Zach Britton. We got Willie Adamas. Who is that? Matt Shoemaker. Another Tatis. Uh, Matt Olson. Ryan Yabra. Oh, now we're on the landscape part. D-backs, Pirates, Ryan Brazier, Nolan Arenado, Paul Goldschmidt, the Atlanta Braves team card, Twins team card, Rockies team card, a lot of team cards in this pack, uh, Brett Gardner, uh, Walker Bueller World Series card, Mookie Betts, Paul DeYoung, Caleb Smith, Luke Weaver, Kiermaier, Marco Gonzalez, Wilson Ramos, and Clayton Kershaw World Series. Not really many of the big rookies in there. Cornette got a nice pull out of the blaster box we did of these. With the Pache. Uh, Royal Blue. Pretty nice card. All right, holiday guaranteed one hits. Most likely a relic. And we got the ornaments. The ornament is Garrett Cole for the Yankees. Garrett Cole. All right. Yeah, I don't know. Not a fan of the horizontal cards. Yeah, they're okay. horizontal cards are okay if the designs like fits it, but we'll see. All right, first pack of holiday. It's not in this pack. We got Guriel, Kiermaier, Austin Riley, Luis Sarias, uh, Tommy Edmond. We got Luis Urias, Kevin Biggio, Bruce Dar, Eloy Cup Card, and a Brandon Lau. So there was nothing in that one. No metallics. I didn't see a metallic. Nope. All base holiday. Looks like. And I know the short prints are turned around, right? Maybe auto cards. If we pull an auto, I do a hit dance. If we pull just a, a relic, then it's only getting a cool. <laughs> now, if we pull one of the ultra rare short prints, that'll probably get a hit dance. All right, we got Aaron Judge, Nick Solak, rookie, Ben Intendi, now a royal. They have divots in the snowflakes. There's a Kyle Lewis rookie. This card's got an issue. You see that? It looks like it, whatever it was gave it a divot right there. It's not the pack. It's for some reason just this one Kyle Lewis card. That sucks. Uh, Justin Verlander. Don't grade that one. All right, here's our first metallic. It's Max Scherzer. Mad Max. Garrett Cole. Devers. Sean Murphy rookie and a Mike Trouts. Mike Trouts. I can dance. Shimmy shimmy. All right. There's a Bogerts. Gary Sanchez. Marcella Zuna. Tatis. Cup card. 
Trey Mancini, Isan Diaz, Buster Posey, Reese Hoskins, shares a regular, and Griffin Channing. Griffin Canning, excuse me. It's a frozen trout. Yep, cold water trout. No short prints yet. Willie Adamas. Will Myers. Michael Chavis. Carter Keyboom. Another Tatis. Metallic Snowflake. Labor Taurus. Max Freed. Adbert Alzale. Uh, Kwang Yoon Kim. And Mauricio Dubon. Rookie. Next pack. How many sharp prints are you supposed to get in a box? Two. There's a Boba Fett. Boba Fett rookie. Sorry, I missed a trash can. Should we get a should we give Boba Fett a cool? I mean, he's one of the bigger rookies you could pull, right? I'll give him a cool. Oh, that's cool. Thank you, Cool Cat. We got a Kyle Garlic rookie. Pete Alonzo cup card. Jorge Soler. All right, looks like we got our first short print. It's an Aquino with the scarf. That is a 71. I don't know, what is what does it go up to? 73? We got Rangel or Rangel, Ravello, Polanco, Blackman, Springer, and Strasburg. Seventy-one through seventy-three? Okay. So that was a seventy-one, so that's the more common short print. Alright, we got Bats Olsen. Paul DeYoung, Tanaka, Ronnie Rodriguez, we got Ryan Brown, we got a Griffin Canning, Metallic, Metallics are a lot harder to see this year than in previous years, Clevenger, Keston, J.D. Martinez, and A.J. Puck, Ricky, what's up Spidey? How you doing? Good to see you. Thanks for stopping in. Alright, next pack. Got a Severino on the back. Alright, we got Eddie Rosario. The Beebs. Shane Bieber. Mookie Betts. Is that our hit? Yep, I think we got a Relic. Mookie Betts. Who is it? It's a pirate. It's a pirate. Cole Tucker. Cole Tucker going to the Pirates. Joe. Joe Mansman. That is our hits. But since it's not an autograph, it only gets Cool Cat. Not an auto. But it's cool. Thank you, Cool Cat. We got Acuna. Aquino rookie. It's our second Aquino. The Bean Baller, Jose Arena, and Luis Severino. Miss Wicked's favorite, Cole Tucker. All right, three more packs. Then we'll be done. We got a Dansby Swanson. You got two of the Acuna short prints. Nice. Jalen Davis, rookie. Pull you and Alvarez. We got a Javi Baez. We got a Trent Grisham, rookie. Trey Mancini, metallic. Snowflakes, Mitch Hanniger, Jake Odorizzi, Trey Turner, 
Kyle Tucker, shout out to Spidey, and Nick Senzel. Send the relic to Wicked. All right, we'll do. All right, two more packs, folks. Should have at least one more short print, right? We got Tim Anderson. John Means Business Cup Card. Underrated pitcher right there. This guy's really good. Joey Votto, he just plays for the Orioles. Nobody knows about him. Uh, we got Nick Anderson Cup Card. The Moose, Moustakis, and our next short prints. Shogo. Shogo short prints. With the Santa Hats. Shogo Santa Hat. This one is numbered... 71 again, so two of the more common short prints in this box. Shogo going to the Reds. Who had the Reds? Ryan. Congrats, Ryan. And the cool card. Send the Tucker to Spidey. All right, we'll do. Uh, Willie Castro. Stanky Granky. Nanana Nico. Shout out to Spidey. Holiday. And a Anthony Rizzo. All right, last pack, folks. Got a Patrick Corbin on the back. Garlicle Smanders on the front. LeMayhew. We got a A. Ron Barrett. Manny Machado. Marcus Stroman. Labor Day, Metallic, Corbin Dallas Multipass, we got a Will Smith, Cup Card, we got a Brandon Crawford, Josh Donaldson, and Corbin Dallas Multipass. Alright, so, sorry Julio Franco, he... Kyle Tucker. Cole Tucker's going to Wicked in the Kyle Tucker. I think I put it in the other stack. Yeah, Kyle Tucker's in the other stack. Kyle Tucker, Kyle Tucker, where are you? Rizzo... Kyle Tucker. All right, I'll go Spidey Stack. Let's do... Turn on a repacked wax. We're selling out the break. And somebody give me a number between 1 and 25. First 1 and 25 in the chat. 13. All right. Trying to read back. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. All right. Throwing in a read back. As thanks for y'all filling the break. Repacked wax. <laughs> Tim says hundred. Steaker, Steaker, Michael Tucker. All these are the other way. All right. We got a Bud Black. Home run threats. Uglive. How do you say that? Ben. That's Ben, right? Ben Uglive, right? And Reggie Jackson. This one's going to go to the Brewers. For Uglive being on the left. Hey, look at Nolan Ryan. This card's not in the greatest shape. This thing's got a huge chunk taken out of it. It's like miscut or something up here on the top. Mother's Cookies, number one. Uh, from 85, I guess? No, it's 93 Mother's Cookies, it says. Mother's Cookies, Nolan Ryan. Kelly Gruber. Edgardo Alfonso. Man, Jeff Kent is... Is he taking a face plant there? <laughs> That's a great picture on that card. That That's... That doesn't look uh doesn't look like it 
Felt good hitting the ground right there. <laughs> Jeff Kent. We got Devern Handsack. And sec from Heritage, Larry Parrish, Alfredo Griffin, Ron Jackson from the 70s, 78 Ron Jackson. We got Jason Thompson. Here's a name I haven't heard in a while. Bill Mueller. Bill Mueller. Jose Rijo, triple play. Dave Winfield. Kirk McCaskill. And Michael Tucker, upper deck. Michael Tucker hit the first home run in Turner Field. Remember that. Let's watch it on TV. Nice, Kent. Yeah. <laughs> well, technically, it's an Alfonso card, but Jeff Kent makes a very good, uh, very good cameo there. <laughs> Alfonso's pushing his face in the ground, I know, right? All right, let's see what we got in the repack, guys. Thank you all for hanging out tonight. It was a lot of fun. Stick around if you want. I'm just going to be sleeving up some cards. But feel free to jump streams if somebody else is streaming right now. All right, we got future Hall of Famer, Albert Pujols. We got John Lester, Wrigley Field insert. Dante Bichette rookie from 89. I think that's his rookie, right? 89. We got a Daniel Murphy. Dustin Pedroia. Jonathan Singleton, Bowman Chrome Mini Refractor. Oscar Mercado, Holiday, from 2019, Ricky. We got a A-Rod, a tax code card. And the insert bonus is... Curtis Granderson, going to the Mets, Black Refractor. This one's numbered 16 out of 100. From 2014, Curtis Granderson, that's a pretty card. Pretty black refractor there. 2014. Mr. Granderson. So congrats, Joe, on that. Biddy wants to know what you want for the Alfonso card. All right, cuz, you have a good night, my friend. Gonna try to go to work tomorrow. <laughs> I hear you. We will be streaming again on Sunday night for the BBGB. Uh, Goody can have the Alfonso. All right. Joe's gifting the Alfonso. Jeff Kent faceplant. Uh, it's a goodie. It's a great card. <laughs> Put it in goodie stack. Ender hit, yeah, the new ballpark. Um, Ender hit the first. First for the Braves, I think. Was it the first overall? I'm not sure if they gave up a home run to the other team in the, before Ender hit is. Mike's off to the bathroom. All right, man. Take it easy in there. Courtesy flushes are a thing, even for yourself. First for the Braves. Yeah, I thought that somebody else hit a home run in the new park, Truist Park or whatever it's called now, before the Braves hit one. But I know Michael Tucker hit the first in Turner Field. I remember watching that and just remembering it forever. Oh, that's a piece of trivia. Boba Fitz. So once again, thank you all for hanging out with me tonight. It was a lot of fun. Really enjoyed it. Love hanging out, chatting with you guys. Got a new emote I need to put in the night bot for Snow Mash's Potatoes. So no mashes taters. We didn't get any of the super short prints in holiday, but 
Definitely some good cards in there. A lot of rookies. A lot of sleeving. Kyle Lewis, unfortunately, has a manufactured ding in it. Six. Yes, I'm even going to sleeve up the fake-out card. Could have been at least a 101 auto fake out. No, we get Strasburg first Bowman fake out. <laughs> Why couldn't we get the Trout one of one fake out? Oh, no worries, Giddy. Thank you all for filling these breaks. Not really doing it to maximize profit on y'all. Just want to have fun ripping stuff. All right, give me one second, guys. I'm going to grab some more penny sleeves. All right, Sticks, man. Appreciate you hanging out with us tonight. Appreciate it. Have a good night. Sticks will be breaking on Sunday, the BBG break that you bought into. So, Sunday at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Joe bought 500 penny sleeves. My last purchase was uh, 2000 Because <laughs> I penny sleeve so much. I buy them by 2000 Wherever's cheapest, either on Amazon, I look for like 2,000 or 1,000 sleeves, and then whatever's cheapest. Amazon or eBay, they usually like alternate. One will be cheaper than the other, then a few months later, eBay will be cheaper or what have you. I should just go buy a case. But you can't even buy cases off the Ultra Pro site. Because they're like backed up. Cuz getting close to 40k cards, it's a lot. It's a lot of cards. Got 500 on Amazon and 100 top loaders. Yeah, I notice, I mean, it's better to buy in bulk when you can because in the long run you're going to save. You know, I did that first. I bought like 500 sleeves and came with top loaders and I was like, let me get a thousand. So I got a thousand. I'm like, okay, well, I'm paying less than when you're buying 500. And then you see 2,000, you're like, oh, I'll get 2,000. But sometimes on Amazon, you got to watch out because sometimes they don't necessarily work out that way. Because I think on Amazon, the 3,000, the price per pack was more than paying the price per pack of 2,000. So you just got to figure out a better way than the old Garrett Cole ornament here. Goes to Warcraft. Just got to figure out a way to send it to you without it getting bent up. All right, folks. That's going to do it for the night. If you got any questions, uh, please feel free to email me at cardobvious at gmail.com. Uh, it's also my PayPal one across the screen. Um, I will be live again on Sunday nights. Come hang out with us, even if you're not in the break. It's a lot of fun. Uh, but until then, I will see you all in other people's streams, hopefully, uh, over the weekend until then. So everybody have a great night and a great start of your weekend. Stay safe out there, especially if you're in a winter weather area. Don't get on the roads if you ain't got to. Later, all.